It's no secret that babies cry. A lot. And that makes it hard for doctors to tell whether a newborn is in pain during simple procedures, like blood tests. But a new method might provide a better indicator as to just how much discomfort a baby is in. Researchers have developed a way to determine babies' pain levels by measuring their brain activity. They hope it'll be more reliable than current methods. Right now, pediatricians rely on facial expressions and body movements, as well as changes in temperature and heart rate, to tell if a baby is in pain. They then compare their observations to a pain scale to assess how much pain the baby is experiencing. But these indicators aren't always reliable and can have other causes, such as illness or reactions to certain medications. There's a fundamental problem with some of these measures. They're not very sensitive because, of course, these are the kind of things that a baby would do anyway. The new method could serve as a better indicator of whether a baby is in pain and even be used to test new baby-specific pain treatments. Now that we've developed these measures, we're hoping that they'll be able to be used by us and other groups in order to better understand the development of pain in infancy, but also to improve treatment. 